it all throughout your career. What was it about this script and playing Jamie that attracted you to this project? Oh, well, um, when I first got the script, I, I knew that it was going to be based on a true story, but we weren't doing a documentary. Um, and after speaking with, uh, well, first reading the script and seeing the relationship that I would get to portray between uh, Jamie and her brother and to work with Tom, um, who was attached to the project was a really big pull for me. And then having a conversation with Matthew and seeing his passion for this subject, for the project um, and his investment in it and knowing that I had things I wanted to bring to the table and how open he was to collaborating, it just felt like a perfect fit. Yeah, is a preparation for a film like this different when you're playing an actual per person and there's no shortage of material online to research from? What was that process like getting ready to step into your shoes? Yeah, you know, to be honest, there's a lot of research that happens for every single role in my mind because I'm not always going to know somebody's job. I'm not always going to know where they live or the time period or whatever that it might be. So as much information as that's one of the exciting parts about what I do, but as much as uh, information as I can gain, then the more truthful place I have to pull from. Uh, but again, um, you know, I, I wanted to understand him and the facts that were known and then in the other places to be able to fill in the gaps with the emotional experience and not just with other people's theories or other mm. people's ideas and instead the perspective of a familial relationship you were saying earlier american murderer provides a 360 view of jason and his relationship with jamie is where we see him probably in his most honest form how did you and tom build that sibling dynamic uh, well, early on, we shot it during 2020, during the pandemic. And so early on, after we had the cast together, we would do read throughs on Zoom with Matthew and kind of talk through our ideas ahead of time. Um, I think also the a strenuous, you know, independent film when you're shooting it, the more prep that you can do mm -hmm. before you get to it on the day. Uh, the better. And so getting to do those and hearing each other's perspectives and dynamic and knowing that I was only one slice of the pie, uh, only one filter of understanding him, but a really important one yeah. um, was something that Tom and I really had talked about wanting everybody to experience, uh, to experience probably the person who he wished he could be the most was the person he saw through his sister's eyes, the one who was fun, um, the one who, you know, everybody loved and uh, adored, but she did as well. And so sometimes in our life, the, you know, the people who love us see what is the best version of us and we want to be that. And at the end of the day, we're really human, not saying we're all murderers, but just <laughs> Saying that, you know, there's there's human sides to us all that we want to hide from the people that we love the most to preserve their idea of us. Mm, beautifully said. And without giving any spoilers, towards the end of the film, Jamie's forced to come to terms with what she is and isn't willing to do for her brother. And for the first time, has to see him in that different lens, like you were saying. And you handle that journey with so much nuance. As an actress, how did you create the space for yourself to dive into those more emotionally charged moments? Oh, I have a toolbox in my own life, emotions I get to pull from, from my own family dysfunction. Um, but, but I also think that it is nuanced, it's gray and, and it's not black and white. And it's not as simple as my brother created or uh, committed a heinous crime and I need to turn him in. That's the right thing to do. Quite often, we don't always arrive at the right thing to do. And that's where the lessons are. And um, I really tried to understand with empathy um, and no judgment why, why, you know, we would choose what would be perceived as the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's pretty simple when it comes to family and love, you know, it, it's completely understood. Now, that doesn't mean that when you watch it, you're not screaming at the TV and wanting her just to do the right thing. But at the end of the day, we understand it within our only family, uh, within our own family and love dynamics. You touched upon this a little bit earlier, but this is Matthew's feature length debut as a writer and a director. What was it like getting to collaborate with him and sharing that moment? Is the experience different when you're working on a project where the person who wrote the script is also at the helm directing? 
Yeah, of course it is because it was so immersive. I mean, Matthew is so passionate, so lovely, but also the best thing about him is I find sometimes with writer, creator, directors, um, they'll be so immersed that they have such a tight hold on it and what they want. And he truly allowed it to breathe. And maybe it's because, you know, he started this journey years before we ever got to film it, like in 2018, and we weren't filming till 2020. So some of his ideas had already kind of evolved. And it wasn't as precious. And he knew and trusted the talent that was around him to make it even better. And that's what's incredible is the best version of any script, film, TV, that comes out is a collaborative experience is the producer standing there with the director and the actors and throwing out ideas and it's not the best one wins it's what we've evolved into it together that we molded together that's what wins that's where the magic is is when you just trust everybody's perspective and respect it and try it and fail or succeed and then what comes out is like a smorgasbord of amazingness. <laughs> you went to the buffet and you got a little bit of everything. <laughs> Definitely. You've worked on projects of all sizes. What is it about independent filmmaking that excites you as a creative? You just never know what it's going to be. You know, uh, I mean, it's in, in the infancy of a television show, um, like For All Mankind, it was on Apple TV. We knew on some level it was going to be big because of the budget or the network. Um, on independent films, you just never know. And it, there's like a spark, but you don't know what it's going to turn into. Will it just be a campfire? Will it be a forest fire? And you you just don't know. And uh, you get to walk into it and know your one tiny small corner of what's going to happen. And so much of it is out of your control anyway, that you just show up and give creatively with your whole heart and tell a truthful story and the rest is history. Uh, speaking of television as a medium, what do you have, what have you learned from your time and in all the different shows that you've been a part of that you've been able to apply to your work uh, on the big screen? I mean, every, every job has just given me so much, like so much experience and knowledge, um, but truly, and I've said it in this interview, but collaboration is key. I don't always have the best idea. I only have my small perspective and experience and lens that I view things through. And if I go into it valuing and respecting and wanting to collaborate with people who have stories as well, and we all have that same motivation, what ends up happening is magical. It's usually when one person is at the helm trying to do the thing for themselves that they want to do that things fall apart um and that was something i think in television that i've learned because you play in that space for so long for you know 10 or 11 months for four years in a row um and it, it is it, it bonds you together more when you're able to respect different creative perspectives and ideas you're absolutely captivating in this film. Is there a scene in particular that you're really excited for your fans to see now that it's available digitally everywhere? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it was the one that was the scariest in my mind to face in film, which is when, you know, she comes back and he's packing the bag and she doesn't want it to be real. She doesn't want the news to be truthful. She wants to believe in the best version of her brother. And then when she's faced with it, um, the complexity of feelings that would arise, uh, you know, from, oh, I don't even know, like thinking back on it, it's like, uh, you know, it, just think of your worst nightmare and it's in front of you and whether it's denying it, whether it's, you know, not, not wanting it to be real and truthful and 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 kind of wrapping your head around that and that grief and that loss of the person that you expected them to be um and your worst nightmare coming true and so that scene for me was was so much fun to sink my teeth into and to be honest so was like the silly days of both of my brothers being there packing up the back of a truck and we're all just shooting the shit on set and laughing and just having a really great time and it felt like 
there was some sort of like familial sibling, you know, relationship that was already developing and, and it was really special. Definitely. That's one of my favorite moments in the film as well. I've got two more questions for you. Outside of this project, what's next for you? Um, well, I'm currently on FBI on CBS uh, for a few more episodes, finishing out like my run on that show. Um, and then I'm maybe possibly going back to playing a character I've played before and can't say anything else. Mm. That's a really good teaser. Uh, and then final question for you. You've brought so many dynamic characters to life on the screen. What's left on your bucket list? Oh my goodness. There's so much left on my bucket list. I, I, I don't even know if I know until it falls into my lap what I'm being called to tell stories about. But I know that my soul is that of a storyteller and I have experiences in my toolbox that I can lend to so many different types and genres that I'm excited to find a new space that I can call home, a new mm -hmm. new form and body that I get to take on and, and tell my stories through. And uh, I just search for the thing that sparks curiosity and fear inside me. That way I can grow and prove to myself that um, I don't suck. <laughs> I definitely do not. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chat with us. Congratulations on this film and the incredible career that you've had. I hope we get an opportunity to chat again in the future.